गुड इवनिंग एक्सरसाइज 4.3 सम नंबर 6 दिस इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग सम फाइंड द टर्म कंटेनिंग x रेस्ट टू 6 इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ 2 minus x into 3x plus 1 raised to 9. Now consider expansion of this. I have not considered all the terms because we are interested in term in x raised to 6. Now we have to open the bracket. So 2 into we need a term in x raised to 6. That is why I have written this. Now when we multiply by x, we have to consider term in x raised to 5. Then only x into x raised to 5. Is x raised to six. Otherwise, what you can do is just write all the terms. But I think it is not required. So, what is coefficient of x raised to six? It is two into nine c three into three raised to six. Don't forget to consider this. Now, second term is negative, so minus nine c four three raised to five. Simplify. Tell me what is the answer. See, uh, this is basically not twenty nine c three. This is two uh, into nine c three. Okay, now nine c three is eighty four. So two into eighty four into three raised to six minus nine c four one twenty six. Fourteen nine is a three raised to five. Three raised to five is taken common. So three into two six into eighty four five zero four minus one twenty six, which is three seventy eight. Three raised to five is two forty three. Product comes out to be ninety one thousand eight hundred and fifty four. Sum number seven. The coefficient of x square in the expansion of one plus two x raised to m is one one two. Find the value of m. Okay. So first we write general term t r plus one. It is m c r one raised to m minus r two x raised to r. That is M C R two raised to R x raised to R. Now we are interested in coefficient of x square. Now this term will be in x square if R is two, and which is that term M C two two square, but it is given to be one one two. M C two is m factorial upon m minus two factorial into two factorial. Two square is four. It is one one two. Factorial of greater is factorial of smaller. Go on adding one unless you get greater. Right, so this gets cancelled. So m minus one into m. Now this is product, or uh, rather m minus one into m is product of two consecutive natural numbers. Before that, four upon two is two. Two into fifty six is one one two. So actually, you should mention that like LHS, we express RHS also as product of two consecutive natural numbers. So m equal to eight. now we discuss an interesting part uh oh just a minute it is actually binomial theorem for any real index up till now we have considered binomial theorem for natural index right uh we have proved the binomial rather we have verified the binomial theorem when the index n is a positive integer we now study the expansion of a plus b raised to n Where n is any real number uh, theorem, if a, b, and n belong to set of real numbers, then what is a plus b raised to n? It is a raised to n plus n a raised to n minus one into b plus n into n minus one upon two factorial a raised to n minus two b square and so on. Uh, you must have observed that in the original theorem it is n c n, but what is n c n? But then n c one. What is n c one? N only. This is in fact n c two. Now the question is, why not to use n c r notation? The reason is simple. N c r is valid if n is natural, right? But we are saying that index n is any real number, and that is why. Now see the remarks. They are interesting. If the index n is a positive integer, then every term. After the n plus one term will contain a factor n minus one. This is quite logical. Suppose n is one. We know that there are two terms in the expansion. Yes, first and second. Why? Because if you put n equal to one here, this will be zero. All the terms after this 
contain factor n minus one. So the procedure stops at n equal to uh, uh, rather after two terms only. So I read this part once again. If the index n is a positive integer, then every term after the n plus one term will contain a factor n minus n equal to zero in the coefficient. Hence, the expansion will contain exactly n plus one terms. We have seen that. But if n is a real number, which is not an integer, then none of the coefficients will be zero and the expansion will contain infinitely many terms. It will be an infinite series. We know that NCR is defined when n is a positive integer and r is an integer such that zero less than or equal to r, less than or equal to n. And we have found the value of NCR as this only. We note that we can find the value of this expression even if n is any real number, not necessarily a positive integer because we are not using this NCR notation, right? But if n is a positive integer, then only we can denote its value by NCR. Otherwise, we cannot. Hence, when n is a real number, which is not a positive integer, we have to write the coefficients as n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial, n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 upon 3 factorial, and not as nc. This is actually value of nc2. Okay. And uh, because nc1 is n, this is nc2, this is nc3. Is that clear? So this is nothing but uh, the binomial theorem for any real index. If n is any real number, a equal to 1, b equal to x, and mod x is less than 1, then 1 plus x raised to n equal to. Uh, I'll explain this. First, uh, we did just discuss this. Uh, then I'll uh, prove this result. Now, this result is very, very important. In 12 standard, we have to use this. What is 1 plus x raised to n? It is 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 upon 3 factorial x cube and so on. Now, why this condition mod x less than 1? Reason is simple. Suppose x is minus 2 and n is half. Then 1 minus 2 is minus 1 raised to half root of negative number, not real. We have to deal with real numbers only. That is why this condition. Okay. So uh, this is the third remark. Now you can read these uh, remarks afterwards. Uh, one important thing is if it is a plus b raised to n within bracket, we take a common to get a into 1 plus b upon a raised to n, a raised to n into nth power of this. Now we know how to expand 1 plus x raised to n. Is that clear? So particular expansion of binomials for negative index modulus x less than 1. You need not remember this. We can obtain as per, we can obtain these results as per requirement. Okay, write down this binomial theorem for any real index and this one. Of course, this is applicable only if mod x is less than 1. Exercise 4.4. Uh, first question, state by writing first four terms, the expansion of the following where mod x is less than 1, uh, we'll be doing first, fourth and fifth. Now, 1 plus x raised to minus 4. See, if you remember expansion for 1 plus x raised to n, can be remembered easily. It is 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial x square. n, n minus 1, n minus 2 by 3 factorial x cube. Now, this need not be uh, 1 plus x always. Uh, it can be 1 plus 2x, 1 plus x square, and so on. But here it is 1 plus x. And what is n? Minus 4. So 1 plus minus 4 into x plus minus 4 into minus 4 minus 1 by 2 factorial x square plus minus 4 into minus 4 minus 1 into minus 4 minus 2 upon 3 factorial x cube and so on. But we are asked to find first four terms. Now simplify and tell me what is the expansion? 1 plus uh, x raised to minus 1 upon 5. So 1 plus minus 1 upon 5 into x plus n, n minus 1 by 2 factorial x square, right? Then minus 1 upon 5 into minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 
into minus one upon five minus two by three factorial x cube. So on simplification, you get one minus x by five plus three x square by twenty five minus eleven x cube upon one twenty five. Please check this. So this is fourth one. Fifth one. One plus x square is two minus one. One plus n x. N means minus one. X is now x square. To be careful. Plus n into n minus one by two factorial square of x square. N n minus one n minus two by three factorial cube of x square. So on simplification, it is one minus x square plus x raised to four minus x raised to six. Now uh, second question will be doing fourth part only. State by writing the first four terms the expansion of the following where modulus b less than modulus a. A minus b raised to minus one by four. So within bracket take a common. So a into one minus b upon a raised to minus one by four. So that is a raised to minus one by four into one minus b upon a raised to minus one by four. Now we can use formula for one plus x raised to n y because mod b is less than mod a, right? Okay. So one plus n x. Plus n into n minus one by two factorial x square, n n minus one n minus two by three factorial x cube and so on. What is n minus one by four? What is x minus b upon a? You may also argue that minus sign is there, so terms are alternately positive negative. That is also correct, but effectively you will notice that all the terms are positive. So it is a raised to minus one by four into what? One plus b upon four a. Plus five b square upon thirty two a square plus fifteen b cube upon one twenty eight a cube plus dot dot dot. Uh, I hope uh, this cannot be. You, rather, I hope you have written this directly. Uh, you are supposed to write intermediate steps also. Uh, third question. We'll be doing fifth part. Simplify first three terms only. Okay. Uh, i should not have written this fourth one first three terms are asked so 5 minus 3x raised to uh, just a minute it is not 3 it is minus 1 upon 3 within bracket take 5 common so 5 raised to minus 1 upon 3 into 1 minus 3x by 5 raised to minus 1 by 3 now it is 1 plus x raised to n 1 plus nx n n minus 1 by 2 factorial square of this that's it so 5 raised to minus 1 by 3 into 1 plus x by 5 plus 2x square upon 25 that's it this was not required because only first three terms are asked now fourth one use binomial theorem to evaluate the following up to four places of decimals let me explain first one but please do write the solution after the lecture root 99 That is ninety nine raised to half. Now ninety nine can be written as hundred minus one raised to half. Within bracket take hundred common. So hundred into one minus one upon hundred raised to half. What is hundred raised to half? It is ten. Now we expand this using binomial theorem. So one plus n x n means oh just a minute. Ah uh, n means half. And x means this. See, uh, minus sign is there, so they have used expansion for one minus x raised to n. Usually, what I do is I consider second as minus one upon hundred, but they have used expansion for a my uh, one minus x raised to n. So terms are alternately positive and negative, plus minus plus and so on. That is why one minus half into one by hundred plus n into n minus one by two factorial one upon hundred square and so on. So ten into one minus one upon two hundred, and then convert this into decimal. This is actually minus one upon eight into one upon ten thousand. So it is ten into one minus zero point zero zero five minus zero point four zero one two five to get this. So ten into this. Nine point nine four nine nine up to four places of decimal. Uh, exercise four point seven, second part of fourth one. We have to find Q 
cube root of 126. 126 should be written as 125 plus 1. Why? Because cube root of 125 is known. Q root of 1 is also known, but uh, 125 is greater than 1, right? So 125 raised to 1 by 3, that is 5. And 1 plus 1 upon 25 raised to 1 by 3. 1 plus x raised to n is 1 plus nx. n is 1 by 3. x is 1 by 125. n, n minus 1 by 2 factorial square of this. Actually, this is sufficient because we have to evaluate the following up to four places of decimals. Now simplify and tell me the answer. Actually, uh, we need not consider this also because this is too small uh, to be taken into consideration as uh, answer up to four places of decimals is to be obtained. So phi into one plus, this is just 0 0.00266 because according to me, there will be uh, uh, five to six zeros, I'm not sure, immediately after decimal point. So 5.0133. Please note that you have to write answer in decimal only because read the sum, four places of decimal. So how can you write answer as rational number? Right? So that's it for today.